I'm gonna get right to the point and talk about Sergio Martinez's best weapon, which was his straight left hand. Sergio Martinez's not so secret weapon was his straight left hand to the solar plexus of his orthodox opponents. Much like the jab to the body in same stance matchups, Sergio Martinez used the straight left hand to the body to wear down his usually much bigger opponents. Martinez. Su recto de izquierda al estómago. Con ese golpe eh, va mermando a los peleadores poco a poco. Abajo, toca arriba, se va, vuelve. Ahí está. Abajo, toca arriba, se va, vuelve. Ahí está. So we notice that Sergio Martinez first sets up his left hand to the body with a jab to the head. He shoots this jab to the head to bring his opponent's guard up so that he could stab the exposed opening downstairs with a quick, laser-guided straight left hand. And we see Martinez smartly move his attack from head to body. And as I said, much like a jab to the body in same stance matchups, the southpaw straight to the body acts as an investment that wears down his larger opponents. This plays into Martinez's advantage of insane stamina, which allowed him to score many late round knockouts. As I stated in my very outdated Josh Kelly video, fighters who hold their hands down want you to aim for their head, but because their hands are down, their weight distribution is much lower up at their head, which allows them to move their head much faster and be able to counter you as soon as you try to aim for their head. As you see, gave the last round to Pavlik, and now with the knockdown point in the preceding round, Pavlik leads on the scorecards. Or the es un asalto que perfectamente podría le puede haber anotado algún juez 18, eh, porque ha sido ha sido de una claridad. Ahí. Fíjate que es la derecha. Es, que es una derecha, eh, la le ha tocado Pero bien. Pero es la derecha, fíjate cómo se la cae. Mira cómo hace el gestor. Ahí está. ¡Bum! The center of gravity is always the hips of the fighter in question. The further away a limb is from the center of gravity, the faster that limb can move, given that the weight distribution of limbs further from the hips is much lower than limbs closer to the hips. So for example, you could move things like your head, your hands, your feet much faster than you could move, say, your, your torso or your hips, given that these things these limbs are much further from your center of gravity, and because they are much lighter, they could move much faster. So you could try this yourself. If you put your hands up, up at your head, and you start moving your head around, and then you try doing the same thing with your hands down low, you find that you move your head slightly faster with your hands down low, because the weight distribution further away from the center of gravity is lower when you have your hands down low. No ha controlado la distancia, el resto lo está controlando perfectamente. Está pegando duro a Barker. Fíjate, a Barker lo ha hecho daño. So not unlike Manny Pacquiao, Sergio Martinez possesses such a high punch count combined with speed and power, leading to his opponents often resorting to a high, tight guard. However, the high guard is designed to block punches coming straight at you, leaving you open around the sides. So let's watch how Martinez takes advantage of this. So we're going to see Sergio Martinez use the jab to get Darren Bark into the high guard. Do you see him jab, get Darren Bark into the high guard, left hand, right hand, and left hand again, all down the middle to keep him in the high guard, occupy his guard while he tries to go around the flanks of the high guard with his right hook. And you see Darren Barker actually avoids it by backing off. So Martinez is going to try it again. Once again, you're going to see the jab to keep him in the high guard, touch him with the left hand down the middle, and then swing around the flanks and hit Barker on the ear to mess up his equilibrium and send him crashing down to the canvas once and for all. So we're going to see it once again from a better angle. We're going to see Martinez get Barker into the high guard with the jab. Starts it off with the jab there. Then he's going to shoot the left hand 
right hand and left hand again all down the middle to keep him in that high guard while he tries to swing the right hook around the flanks. And so he's going to try it again. Once again, you're going to see Jab touch him with the left hand down the middle and then swing the right hand while he's stuck in the high guard right on the ear, crashing him down and messing up his equilibrium. En la repetición porque ha caído a plomo. Es el que ha habido una combinación. Yo creo que ya no es ni este golpe. Esta, esta, esta le ha hecho daño ahí, eh. Cuidado, esta la ha dado en la sien y está ahí. Fíjate, eh. Ahí repito otra vez. Sí, esta ya no. And I just can't emphasize enough that Sergio Martinez's left hand was such a deadly weapon, whether he shoots it to the body, shoots it in combinations while trading with his opponent, or using it as an overhand left. What made it so devastating was his laser-guided accuracy with that left hand. It was almost incredible to watch a punch thrown with so much speed and power also be so accurate. And as previously mentioned, Martinez also had a mean overhand left for his larger opponents. By simultaneously moving his head off the center line and shooting the left hand, he kept himself defensively responsible as he slams the punch in. Then we see Martinez's overhand left puts Paul Williams out cold as he never saw the punch coming. And this was no bum. This was Paul the Punisher Williams, the most avoided fighter at the time. So this fight really solidified Sergio Martinez as the king of the middleweight division. So once again, we see Sergio Martinez's left hand tucks Paul Williams into bed and he kindly leaves so that he could sleep in peace. You know, I figure if you're still watching this far into a video breakdown about a relatively obscure boxer like Sergio Martinez, then you're probably a much appreciated fan or hater of this channel. So I feel it more pertinent than usual to say thank you for watching. You know, sometimes you just want to slap out something you know nobody is going to give a damn about. The topic isn't particularly relevant. This isn't exactly friendly to the algorithm. This was by all means not a very good use of my time. But hey, I routinely make poor life decisions on a daily basis, so I hope you enjoyed my tribute to one of my favorite fighters of all time from the not-too-distant past, Sergio Maravilla Martinez. I'd also like to take this opportunity to announce to all two of you who are still watching that my work schedule has changed, so now I have more free time to work on video projects. I hope to get a video out every week for this foreseeable future, which is exciting. So once again, thank you all for watching, and please subscribe if you like my content and want to see more. Never let it